Uh, this is how to play Every Good Thing by the Afters. Um, I watched an acoustic uh, video of what they do with this, uh, and it was kind of far off, but I, for the most part, could get the gist of um, what they're doing together. Um, as for the little lead part here, um, it's relatively simple. Um, basically, all you're doing is you're putting your pointer finger on the 4th fret of the 2nd string from the bottom, and then you're putting your ring finger on the 6th fret, 3rd uh, string from the bottom. And those are the only two strings you're hitting for this. Uh, you can technically uh, hold down the E string as well on that 4th fret, but I don't think he does. I think he mutes it. Uh, and I also think he, kind of, he may mute even the 5th uh, string or 4th string from the bottom as well. But, um, but basically all you're doing, once you've got that shape, uh, you're just bringing in your pinky to the 6th fret of the 2nd string from the bottom. So you just... Okay, and you're just lifting off. You can kind of listen to the song as to when you do that. But you're only hitting those two strings, and remember you're just trying to mute that high E string. Now when you get that first part goes, the second part, you're bringing in your middle finger to hit the 6th fret of the 4th string from the bottom at the same time as the 6th fret of the 3rd string from the bottom. So, okay. Um, really, once you have that down, they do that for a whole lot of the song, uh, except for maybe just the chorus. Um, but you've got that down, um, you're good to go. As for the chords, while that's happening, the uh, other guitarist is doing... Well, I guess it depends on which version you're listening to. The acoustic version, he just went... In the actual studio version, though, it's it's almost the same. In fact, it is the same as the um, as the actual chorus and the verse together. Like everything's the same. Um, but anyhow, just to at least get you these chords, um, this is G sharp, A sharp minor, uh, C sharp. And then it goes to an F sharp. Okay, so uh, once you get to the chorus, well, let's just stick with the verse for now. But for the verse, we're going to do it the acoustic way that they do it. But you can, you'll see that these are all the same chords that they use the whole time. So you can, you can use them either way. Uh, but for the verse, he just goes... G sharp to the A sharp minor up to the C sharp C sharp and then once again G sharp to the A sharp minor to the F sharp okay and then once I get to the chorus almost the same thing, it's just G sharp, A sharp minor, G sharp, C sharp. Okay, um, so anyhow, uh, that's about all I can do for you. Um, if you don't know these chords, you can use a capo to tweak it. I'm just going by the way that they did it. And uh, what I saw was without a capo. Although I did, I have seen the lead singer use a capo somewhere. I don't know exactly. I didn't look. Um, I want to say it's. It may be right. Maybe even the second fret. I'm not sure because I still have to get down to the F sharp, so it might be right there. But uh, I know that I've seen the other guitarists just stay standard. So just uh, look up 
those particular chords, but they're just bar chords, uh, same as a G, just a G sharp, just one half step up. So, anyhow, that is played through pretty much, it's very much repetitive, so if you can get those two parts uh, down, you've got most of this song. So just listen to it as to when you do what, but um, you should be good to go. So if you have any questions, go ahead and comment, otherwise, uh, good luck with it.